and today we're taking a closer look at the Crybaby Wawa line. I'm at the Dunlop headquarters in California to find out what makes each one of these unique. They all look pretty similar and they all go waka waka, but they all have distinct voicings and features to address each player's needs. In this video, we are taking a look at some of the wahs that Dunlop has developed in close collaboration with famous guitar players who are known for their mastery of the wah effect. These pedals are designed for the specific needs of those artists, which has led to some very interesting and useful features for the rest of us. To help illustrate these points, we've chosen three pedals from the line. Jerry Cantrell Wah, the Slash Wah, and the very versatile Crybaby from Hell, Dimebag Daryl Wah. Let's look at the Jerry Cantrell signature Crybaby Wah. Dunlop's engineers noticed that Cantrell favored the darker end of the Wah range and learned that Cantrell's text even tweaked his pedal so that the rocker only traveled so far. Dunlop's solution was to keep the whole range but also add a frequency control that allows you to darken up the toe down frequency. <laughs> Now let's look at the Slash Signature Crybaby Wah. This pedal takes Dunlop's GCB95F Crybaby Classic Wah circuit and combines it with a custom distortion circuit. On the outside of the pedal, there are volume and gain controls for the distortion circuit, as well as on-off status LEDs for both the wah and the distortion functions. <laughs> Now let's look at the Dimebag Signature Crybaby Wah. This might be the most tweakable wah Dunlop makes. It's got an extended sweep range and a bunch of controls and features to adapt to almost any situation. First there's the Q control, which allows you to dial in how wide or narrow the wah effect is. Next, there's the toe down frequency control, which works the same as the one on the Cantrell pedal. And then there's the adjustable switchable boost which is great for putting yourself straight to the front of the mix when you kick on the wah. There are also two outputs with parallel and pass-through modes, allowing you to split your wah signal or send out both a wet and dry signal at the same time. Additionally, there are on-off bypass and boost on-off status LEDs so you can see whether the pedal is active while on a dark stage. <laughs> Yeah. 
Not all crybaby artist Waz sound the same, so it's important to find a model that fits your style. Be sure to look at the other videos on vintage and multifunctional Waz.